Hello. In this video, we're going to look at the process of creating dynamic URLs or dynamic links, depending on what you want to call it. So let's just start off by talking about what you're looking at. So this right here is a list of some titles. These titles come from an underlying table and the table looks a bit like this. So there's a table called games. You can see they've got titles. There's something about an image. There's a genre. There's a console. So basically this page is a list of the titles of some things in a table stored in a database. And so what I want to do is I eventually want to link these to detail pages, and that's going to be the second part of this video. If you want to think of it as having two parts, I do. Uh, so I want to show you how to make these into relevant links. So let's start by looking at what the, uh, what the code looks like. So I've uh, obscured a lot of it. The underlying query is up here, right? It's like star from games, and that's where I get all the information from. And then I display the information down here. I have other videos where I show you how to display the results of a query, and that's kind of the underlying key skill here. But basically what happens is there's a uh, repetition, a loop right here. And so I've gone over this before, and basically I fetch the results one row at a time, and I spit them out here with an echo, and all I'm spitting out is the title of the game. And like I said, I want to make this into a link to a specific page about that game, so I want to build onto it a little bit. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my previous video, which would be displaying dynamic content, uh, notice these curly braces. Where those come into play is when you are echoing something out in double quotes. Uh, if you want to index into an array, like I've done right here, it needs to be surrounded in curly braces. So I'm spitting out the title of the game with a line break and a new line character. So if you want to make a link, basically what needs to happen is not just that title, but I want to open up an anchor tag and I want to close the anchor tag. Right, don't worry about that line break. Typically, we don't need those after an anchor tag, but I'm just trying to show you what you need to do, not the optimal way of doing this. That makes it into a link right there. However, you never have a link without an href attribute. Well, I guess you could, but you probably don't. So I'll say href equals, and so this is where I want to link to some page. Now that page is a page I've already created. That page is called details.php. All right. So at this point, just I'm going to save and I'm going to refresh where I was at. And now these things are links. The problem is, and you can see this, if you hover over them, you can see the address down in the left hand corner. So this links to a page called details and this links to a page called details and this links to a page called details. Now you could probably, you might be wondering like, well, how do I, all right, so that details page is fine and all, but how do I get that details page to know that I want to know about Zelda or Duck Hunt or Metroid, right? And so how this works is basically what we need to do is we need to get the ID of the game and somehow pass that to the details page. So we've kind of created a link, but it's a worthless link. So we need to find a way to get that image ID into that URL. So let's look at that. So this needs to have a little bit more going on. So this is not a great starting point for PHP. If you've done a little bit of programming before, you know that when you pass information via the get method, it gets passed via the URL is one way to interpret that. But I don't know how much attention you've ever paid to the details. Basically, the format of the URL goes question mark. And so everything after the question mark is stuff that you can extract with the get method. So what I do is I put a question mark, and then I just make an arbitrary decision about what I want to call this field. I'm going to call it ID, and I'm going to set it equal to, now here's the tricky part, right? I want to set that equal to the ID of the game. And so if I want to do this, notice I'm, I'm, I'm going to work right here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use that, cur that curly brace technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an opening and closing set of curly braces here. And I want to grab the row, which is the row that represents the game we're looking at and the name of the field. Now the name of the field, because I'm familiar with that table, was image underscore ID. Right? That right there is the name of that field in the table. So it's kind of an ugly thing to look at, but basically the, the other way to do this would be just with straight concatenation, which I think is a little bit harder. I'm a fan of the curly braces. So for each image, that title, which is already there, we're just wrapping it in a set of anchor tags, and each anchor tag has the same href up to the dollar sign and the ID, and then we just concatenate on the, uh, the ID. So I'm going to save that and show you the result, and we are almost there. 
So I'm going to refresh this page, and it doesn't look like anything changed a whole lot. But now if I mouse over, do you see down in the bottom left-hand corner, that's ID2, that's ID3, that's ID4, that's ID5. And now when I click on this page, the detail page has already been created. I'll discuss that in the next video. It just occurred to me that I need to make this, uh, this lowercase ID, it needs to be an uppercase ID because that's what the next page is expecting. So now if I click on this page, I get the details for Zelda. And if I click on this page, I get the details for Duck Hunt. And so we're not talking in this video about how that details page works, but you can see that through passing that ID or building that ID into the URL, the details page is able to figure out what details to pull up. And so that's the process of creating dynamic URLs. In the next video, we'll look at the process of kind of extracting that ID out and pulling up the dynamic content on the next page. So hopefully I see you in the following video.